hey hey everybody and welcome back so in today's video we are doing our second paycheck breakdown and cash envelope stuffing so we have our cash already pulled out on what we need we have our budget planner here that is from Erin Condren it's a seven by nine monthly planner and our dual tip marker that I use we're gonna flip to April's budget so we go here and we'll do our paycheck breakdown. First, we'll know how much income we have come in, where we're all gonna place it, and then stuff our envelopes. So, but first, if you have not already subscribed to the channel and love these kind of videos for cash and love stuffings, do, for, do hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your notifications so you're notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. So, first up, we're gonna see how much income we have coming in for this week. So James's check came in at 771.27 cent. All right. So this week I didn't get cashed out from Etsy, didn't have anything from the Nutrition Club or YouTube. <laughs> I think about it all. My check from the office was 116.51. And that only reason it fluctuates is depending on exactly when I clock in and clock out because that's a <laughs> clock in, clock out job. All right, so total for the week is $887.78. All right, so for all of our expenses now, cars is $184. And this got left in the account with this added to it, so we could go ahead and make the first payment of this month for both cars. Rent is $120. Groceries is 120 for gas 70 Utilities and Allstate are both getting 60 at and is getting 70 Storage and student loans are getting 15 each. Pest control and miscellaneous is getting 10 each. Spending, we're adding 30. Sinking funds, we are putting 20. For savings, we were adding 10, debt 40, and then we left 53 in the cushion for this week. All right, so that totals us at 887. All right, so now we're gonna set this to the side. We are going to pull out our 52 agendas and stuff all of our categories and see where we're sitting at. So let's go ahead and lay this down. Who is ready for Easter if you celebrate it next weekend? It'll be the last weekend doing taxes. So I only work one day next weekend, which is awesome. And then no more taxes for this year. All right. Yeah, we can set it here. Okay, so there's all of our bills laid out. So the first thing that we stuff is all of our bills and expenses in here first so first up cars is already in the account we've already made the payment rent 120 so 120 giving us 1 to 20 40 140 towards rent we need 120 for groceries so 120 also one, two, 20, 40. So 240 for groceries. Allstate is getting 60. So 20, 40, 60 for Allstate. All right. We have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120 for Allstate, which is our insurance. Then we have gas, and this is gas for our cars, getting 70. So 50, 60, 70. Okay, we have 51, 20, 40. So 140 towards gas. Utilities is getting 60. 20, 40, 60. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, perfect. 
right? And then AT&T needs 70, 50, 60, 70. Okay, so that's 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Yeah, so 140 in our AT&T. Storage, we're gonna be putting in 15 for storage. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30. Student loans, 15, and they have extended student loans again. <laughs> so still make my minimum payments that I have been making to keep pulling that principal amount down. So hopefully when they finally do put it back, it'll be really low for at least one of mine, and then I'll just work on the other ones that didn't have the higher interest. So student loans, we have 10, 20, 25, 30. Perfect. Pest control needs 10. So that gives us 20. And miscellaneous is getting 10. 20 again. And then spending for me and James is 30. Alright, so 20, 40, 50, 60. So $60 right now. So if this is all we end with, each get 30. So that's awesome. All right, so that's all of our bills and expenses that we stuff in this one. Moving along. The next one that we're going to be stuffing is our debt and savings. So for, where do savings first? Savings, we are adding 10. All right, so right now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90 sitting here in savings. And some of this is from last month. I didn't deposit it. Kind of forgot about pulling that one out and depositing. But it's fine. I'll do it next month. Only like to make one trip if possible for that bank that it's in. <clears throat> now for debt, we are adding 40 this week. So let's see where we're at for debt. All right. So at least, let's see if we've hit 300 yet. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. 85, 90, 95, 300. Perfect. We're on the right track. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three hundred and nine dollars in our debt snowball. I said last week, hoping to at least reach five hundred by the end of this month. If more, I'm all for it. But we are at three hundred nine. So that's awesome. All right. Lastly, we are going to stuff our sinking funds. All right, so let's see. We have used, we need to add car maintenance because we had, James had to get an oil change done. So we're gonna put 10 in car maintenance. All right. And then let's see. Let's do. We're gonna do, we have Easter coming up. Holidays. All right, I think we're gonna add the 10 here into holidays. That way we have $40 to work with for getting the rest of the stuff for the Easter baskets and for what we're gonna need to go celebrate Easter with the family. So I'm gonna put the other 10 for holiday this week. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yep, okay. So those are the only two categories we're gonna stuff this week. I did pull out smaller bills because I was gonna divide it up a little bit more, but I think that right there is enough to cover it. So, but that is all we're gonna do in sinking funds. I don't stuff all of these every single week. It just depends on what's coming up and what needs a little extra so that way we have something to cover it, so. But that is our sinking funds. So we did our paycheck breakdown. We know how much was coming in, how much is going out. Keep in mind that this paycheck breakdown helps covers all of our bills and expenses going into April, uh, May. So none of this money goes out right now unless it's a sinking fund, um, especially from like spending up. 
it stays in our sinking funds or stays in our cash envelopes and here in our 52 agendas until the end of the month and then it pays our bills and expenses for the next month so we are one month ahead and that's just how we have been for the past three years now so which has been a blessing <sighs> but i really hope that y'all enjoyed watching this paycheck breakdown and cash loan but stoving video for the second week of april super excited love being able to get these stuffed and ready to go knowing how much we have set aside for each one of our expenses for the new month but that is all we have don't forget to like and subscribe that way you can catch all of my videos anytime i post something i do a lot of budget videos as well as some grocery haul videos those are it <laughs> had to think about it but if you want to check out any other videos do subscribe that way you can check them out but i really hope that y'all enjoyed and i can't wait to catch y'all in my next video bye bye now